buttons. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> So, your buttons are? Oh, yeah, da dash, dash, pause. You have a dash? I didn't even know this game had a dash. <laughs> it's dash. <laughs> oh, look at that, there is a dash. Oh, no, I don't have it. Oh, there we go. All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh man, the guys are so cool. <laughs> what a sweet game. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. All right, welcome metal enthusiasts to Metal Mondays. I'm Yuri Nalar, longtime metaler, first time commendentator. <laughs> this is <laughs> Meet My Mate Man, Doctor Awesome of the band Train Bigger Monkeys. Uh. He's musing with me everything musically metal while we master the medium of gaming. If you'd like to join us in the conversation now or anytime during the week, contact us either through our individual channels or on Twitter and we'll get you included on the channel. Uh, the chat channel, Metal Mondays. All metal related links, stream, blog, podcast, promotions are welcome all week long. I'm trying to make a community for metal people. If you have a band or stream you'd like to promote, uh, on our show, we would like to discuss it um, and just let us know. If there's anything else you want to talk about metal related, let us know. Uh, you can toss us a line anytime on the Metal Mondays chat or either of our Twitch channels and of course on our Twitters. So we are going to be playing the game Bro Force while we discuss the, the news for the week and various other metal related things. I've fallen behind here. Dr. Awesome has gotten away from me. Or we're not in the same game anymore. <laughs> both blew up. What's that? I was trying to high five you and then we both blew up. Oh, we both blew up? Okay, I'll get out of here. I'll start again. Alright, so. Okay. So, what do you want to talk about first? What do you got here? I saw that uh, Train Theater has an app now, so you can see their 2012 show. Hey, are we playing together? What happened? I don't know if we're in the same game anymore, man. What happened? Like I said, we both blew up, and then I started by myself. Uh... I tried to hit the triangle, which is my five high, high five button, and then we both blew up. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Yeah, so this. It's uh, their 360 degree app or whatever, 2012 show in Rio, no, Rio, something Brazil, something South America, I can't remember. Hmm. But, uh, doesn't look very cost efficient, it's like 10 bucks on Apple just to see the show. I don't know, I, I guess it's okay, I've paid for DVD apps before, or DVD uh, shows before, the game's 37. Sophisticated password has remained the same. Like I had Ozzy and Budokai or whatever it is. I guess it's it's worth it, but uh, ten bucks for an app. It's, it's crazy. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think the 360 degree experience or whatever they're hyping now is worth it. Why would you want a 360 degree experience? I want to watch the bands. Yeah, that's right. No, I don't care about all the morons <laughs> in the crowd. I hate people. <laughs> well, look at that idea. Look at that idea. I guess. I do kind of like watching people, so it might be good. Yeah, you can laugh maybe, at them. Maybe it'd be some... Would they blur out the flashing boobies? Better not. Probably. Hey, the yeah, game's ready to join. Are you joining or what? Logging in. What else is happening? Oh yeah, well, the Pantera reunion. <laughs> Pretty much got shot down. Completely yeah. Yeah. Vinny I Paul. can't blame him. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even want to see it. Really? Why would you want to see Pantera without, <laughs> without Dimebag? Uh. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Because well, I am the guys from. Boondock Saints. Cool. 
<laughs> Can't remember what my name is. I've, I've played a little, so I unlocked some guys. I have not played a single lick of this. I can blow stuff up with my gun. Yeah. So everyone has different types of grenades and stuff? I'm Indy! How do you do that? How do you switch? Mm -hmm. Where, when you rescue a guy, you get to switch him. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll let you rescue oh. guys, I believe. You have a certain amount of lives based on how many guys you rescue, so I'll let you rescue guys so you can get on locks too, because that's how you unlock guys. So what else? What else do we see here on the, n the news frame? Uh, what do you want to talk about? We got uh, uh, Exodus replacing their singer, back to the original guy. That's crazy. Who's in the band? Uh, what was his name? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the band for a long time? Ten years or something? Dukes. Oh, Who failed man. and died. I have to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Oh, okay, I'm Arnold. Get that much. This is John McClane. <laughs> I think. Uh, so, so no Exodus, you don't like them? Will Smith. No, I don't really listen to much Exodus to be honest. Okay. So Oh yeah, you wanted to talk about Metallica. Uh, yeah, they played a song that they would never have live before. This See you later. They never uh, played live? What song? Trade Dance of Sanity. There's videos of it on YouTube. Holy shit, one set. <laughs> that fucking music in this game is ridiculous. Yeah, it almost sounds like the Power Rangers theme song there. And yeah, then fucking sound. I need to adjust that. Um, oh, you're Ash. I don't know. I've seen Metallica be really yeah. good, and I've seen Metallica be really bad. But the best thing about Metallica is new shit. I love it when they play stuff they don't play before. That's awesome. Yeah, because uh, most of their new stuff isn't the greatest, in my opinion. So <laughs> when they play the new stuff... Like, I was lucky enough to be at the show in Calgary when they played Dyer's Eve for the first time. Yeah. And thankfully, Dyer's Eve, I think, is a far better song than Bray and Sam. So, is that <laughs> when harder to play. Harder to play as well. Yeah. Well, with Lars, obviously, my... Oh, Robocop. Man, yeah, watch his, watch his gun. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch out for falling blocks. Uh, was that the, t the show they added? The second show yeah. they added that time? The second show they added. Yeah, that was sucks. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. This Go Force game is sick. Yeah. I like the suicide terrorists. <laughs> the suicide bombers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm back! I'm back, man! Oops, I gotta keep letting you rescue them. There's lots of dangers down here. Oh, there's so much dangers everywhere. You can get on. Oh, nice. Oh, man, I did. Uh, and then I, and then I saw Lars <laughs> Alder saying uh, the new album's almost r completely written. Uh, what that? A whole brand new album. Yeah. I have a hard time thinking that's not gonna be any good. Yeah, that's pretty quick. <laughs> After the last fiasco, too, right? Well, I guess, uh... The last album was the worst. That, uh, collaboration with, uh, what's his nuts? Yeah. That was pretty poor. Cool. That's what I was meaning. Uh, I can't remember... I can't remember what it's called now. All I remember was, I am the table! <laughs> I am the table! I am the table! <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is this? <laughs> so. Shut up. Shut up, you tyrants. Yeah, I can't even... What's the guy's name? With the... Uh, I can't think of it either. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't 
Ted Nugent. Nugent. No, it's not. I saw something about Ted Nugent. I don't remember what that was. Recently. Uh, he's a... <laughs> he's a racist, racist, cra <laughs> racist <laughs> crazy <laughs> son of a dink. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But yeah, I saw he was doing something oh, weird. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I want to see this, the Rob Zombie Super Haunted House thing. The Great American Nightmare. Hmm. I'd like to see him take it on tour. He's it was apparently a great success this year. It'd be that'd be insane. It'd be insane haunted house. I love haunted mm -hmm. houses. I haven't heard much about that. Yeah, it's just like you know, this house of glass and corpse is pretty much in a haunted house form. And then huh. uh, so I got Ash Walker. Watch the falling blocks up there. We can high five. You wanna high five? Yeah, sure. Oh. A button. Um, if for me, it's triangle. <laughs> Whoa! <it's, laughs> it causes slow motion. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I got exploded. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I went and saw. Like, imagine his production value. I went and saw. Uh, I went and saw Rob Zombie with Alice Cooper. I went and saw it with my dad. And it was it was insane. Like you don't see shows like that. I love That's pretty cool. Rob yeah. Zombie with Alice, Alice yeah. Cooper. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Alice Cooper was very cool to see. He was like one of my dad's favorite. We used to listen to Alice Cooper all the time. I loved Alice Cooper. Schools out. Schools out for some. For so many songs. Poison. And Uh, hard to keep track of where your dude is. <laughs> yeah, it game. takes a little while. Especially with two guys here, this is much harder. Especially when your dude always changes. Oh. Yeah. I like your gun. We didn't even stay for all of Rob Zombie, because I'm not even a Rob Zombie fan, like in terms of music. But his gore show was like, it was sick. But, you know, I'm not going to stay there for the whole thing. After he saw Alice Cooper, you're not going to beat that. That was so oh. good. We don't have to stay in the same screen, do we? I don't know. We don't have to go that way. Oh, I thought I blew up. Come on, Rambo. My ammo is full already. Come get some bombs. I don't need them. We all have different uh, bomb amounts because our bombs do different things. Oh. See, I do. I do the old forgetinator. Oh, the freaking die beams. Yeah. Oh. And it's, it stuns everybody in its way. It's pretty sweet. Will Smith's the best. I don't know, it seems like I can f follow it a picture. Yeah, looks like you can. Oh. Man, when did the when did the singer for Guar die? Well, that was must have been like a year and a half ago. I think I was still in the band. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't that long ago, man. I felt like I was still in the band. No. I remember talking to Al about it. I haven't seen that Al in that long. I was like, Jesus. I thought it was a long time. To... Hey, this is a new guy. I never had this guy. Who is that? I have no idea. Let's see what the... Okay, so flame bomb. Not sure what that is. Yeah, well, did you see what Randy White wrote about it? No. He's like, man, basically he says, I'm, I'm like a serious alcoholic, and I, uh, you know, I was in trouble and I got help, and I'm just so sick of seeing my friends die because they, because they don't, because uh, they don't get help. And he said. Um, that David Brocky wasn't even like a big junk here. He just, just like he liked to party or whatever, but he like it was a rough night or whatever. Yeah, it just took it too far one night. He's so sick of seeing that. Like sobriety's the way to go. I don't know. It's uh, it's like just get help. Get help. You need help. You need help. Get help. It's not a big deal. Machete. That guy's my favorite. I don't even know who that oh, is. I got blasted. His grenade is a 
chicken with a, or with a cooked chicken with a bomb in it that's a proximity, or not a proximity mine, a detonator mine. So I don't even know who the hell that is. So are people in your chat or are they in the Metal Mondays yet? Uh, I don't actually have the Metal Mondays open because I'm retarded. Just a sec. Let me let me save you and we'll get it. Eh. There you go. Let's just dread. Just just pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> F5, please. Oh yeah, well no one will be in the Metal Mondays chat as it is because you need to request it. Oh yeah. Where's my mouse? There we go. Oop, oop, oop. Oh. Machete! <laughs> so, uh... Oh. I got him. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see Vinyl say be nice. I wasn't trying to be mean. That wasn't meant to sound mean. No, he's probably gone now forever. Uh, what, is, <laughs> what was the mean part? Oh, hi, John. Welcome to Metal Mondays. Look out! Want to see what this sweet Terminator bomb is? Invincibility! Oh! Yeah. Walker. First boss. I don't know. This is scary. Oh yeah. Uh, there's the. Take it slow, Kev. Yeah. Oh, I got blowed up. Oh, I'm Conan now. <laughs> oh, fart. Oh. I saved men, so I got another man. Get, get saved, oh, this guy. I jumped right in the middle of the thing again. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, God. A good we won? We yeah. won! <laughs> Alright, what else? Do we have anything else to talk about or are we gonna move on from here? Let's see, what else? Uh, oh yeah, there's the Louder Than Life Fest was announced. Not, uh... <laughs> yeah. Not the best. That's pretty crazy, man. I don't know. I've <laughs> Like, it would be pretty fun, but it's not like the most typical <laughs> festival lineup. It seems a little odd, but they got Judas Priest and Korn together. Judas okay. Priest and Kid Korn. Rock. Judas Priest, Kid Rock, Corn, Five Finger Death Punch, Stone Temple Island. Don't know. Like I would go just for Master. Oh yeah. Oh. I'd go to any festival. I don't care who's playing. If it's a festival, it's gonna be fun. It could be freaking Dubstep or Celine Dion. If it's a festival, you're gonna have a good time. There's gonna be a lot of drunk druggies. Oh, it's gonna be fun. We failed. You can fall down all the way. Yeah. Watch those bombs. Make this rescue. Men in black. Throw in black. Whoa, and if you hold jump, you guys should get a boost. Maybe not. A mistake. Uh, your gun keeps you up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah his gun, gun definitely does. Oh. So one of my guys got killed. I use my grenade, my one grenade, and I get a second ding back. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> that's enough news. I don't know any more news. No, that's a good enough for me. Oh, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's hard. This game's hard. Yeah, it is hard. It's a little easier with one player. You can go a little faster. Well, I guess you could go really fast anyway. So you don't have to stay on the same screen. Let's let's talk about some new releases. First thing I wanted to ask: Do you ever buy your new releases on iTunes? <laughs> on iTunes? Yeah. Have you ever no. bought any music on iTunes? No. No, me neither. I'm just. I I don't understand the point to iTunes anymore. Yeah. I don't know if we can make this jump anymore. We blew too much shit up. Oh, actually. Uh, ah, fuck off, I failed. <laughs> 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 I 
Alright, let's try again. <laughs> um, okay. No, you don't. I think it's so stupid. In, in the in the year 2014, to not just go give your money directly to the man. Like I understand that some some you can't do it. Like I was looking for the new new Mushroom Head album. We'll talk about that. But I couldn't Safe. find. Save the guy, please. I died. Oh, you died. Sorry, I didn't see that. So, um, don't shoot like a maniac. I like shooting like a maniac. Yeah. I know, so do I. There's so many guys to kill if you don't do it, sometimes you will die. Oh! I'm getting across now! Oh! <laughs> ah! That's the one we don't want to blow up. Dear God, no more shooting, no more shooting. Um, so let's talk about the, the coolest one, I think, in terms of... What the product you get in this Arch Enemies new release? I think it's out now. No, it's out in a couple days. War Eternal. And the new, the new singer sounds almost identical to the old singer. Like I was saying earlier, it's, it sounds like they they didn't even miss a beat. Like it just sounds like the the same band. It's good, good product. I agree. I agree. If you like Arch Enemy, nothing really changed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not. I'm also not the biggest Arch Enemy fan, but they're pretty good. They do what they do pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty damn good, yeah. yeah. I don't know what kind of massive death pile that was about. Do we have to go down there? Why would we go down there? We don't need to go down there. I'm just trying to shoot the exclamation marks. Yeah. yeah. I want to shoot the guys down here. Okay. Ah! <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> um, and and she's also hot too, right? That's yes. Yeah. That's that's fantastic. It'd be fantastic if she wasn't hot, but you know, it's it's great that the old one was hot and they replaced it with another hot. Another hot lead singer. Can't ever have too many of those. Keep that Satan. That's just the last spot there. Yeah. Got him. So you like the new Mastodon, right? I do. It's not out till the end of the month. But they there's the new single that's out. Once more around I, the sun? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's... You know, it's... Uh, they kind of do the... Stoner, metal, rock kind of thing, pretty good. It's metal, but it's not, like, singing is not offensive to a lot of people, so that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, it's, it's very metallica -y. That's us. I, I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's, uh, I think it's been done before a million times, with Metallica and Ozzy, and even Orange Goblin-ish. It's very... That was pretty slick. Yeah, it's very... Just rhythmic, and I don't know if there's more exciting songs on the. I heard the single, so Which there probably is. There probably is, but it didn't seem very flashy. To me. It was very pretty slow. Snake, salt snake, nice. Snake probe skin. Fuck. Oh my god, my god! No, I'm Conan. I think it's gonna be really good. And uh, I'm super excited for it. There's lots of <laughs> lots of Mastodon songs that I really like. So that's true. Yeah, this one sounds. I mean, it's not like it's the same thing in the past, but it's yeah. It doesn't really it sound too like typical new. for them. That's true. But it, it sounds. sounds cool. to me. Oh my god! I don't know like, if I can make this. Oh, uh, I think we're toast. Just jump up off the ledge, up onto the ladder. Oh no. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a very big jump. Uh, here's my favorite guy. Here's this turkey. Boom! I love this turkey. This is the dangerous guy that blew Oh up. yeah, he's so dangerous. <laughs> But he could clear out a room. No bad guys, at least. Almost died. 
Oh, lots of times. Of Whoa! I think I died. Yeah, me too. Lots of times uh, that guy makes things fall on himself. From what I've experienced. Stupid coconuts. I saw Cannabis Corpse. They got a new album coming out, June 24th. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> well, okay. They're pretty good at being cannibal corpse with both drugs. <laughs> That's oh, it's not the, their their new <laughs> album. They're doing like yeah, they're death doing other stuff. death stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. They're branching out, which yeah. is cool. What? And it's weed inspired there, so there's you know, much, not much further you can go. <laughs> no, yeah, there's. <laughs> You get them what you pay for, that's for sure. Yeah. You definitely get what you pay for. And if you like if you like that kind of metal, they're just like really good metal. They're really good at it's around Europe, they shoot at a bunch. Like I don't know, they're good. Yeah. They got low production though. I feel <laughs> well first especially the first thing. I was reading the wiki and it said they uh, recorded the first album without any vocals in a shitty apartment. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> Makes sense. How about some of this? I'm Robocop, bitch! So, did you have a listen to the new Mayhem release? <laughs> I did. The new single, at least. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. Um... <laughs> I have to be careful what I say, I don't want to end up in a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's... it's good. I don't know, it's... It's not as good as other Mayhem. I agree. I don't know. I would agree, I would agree with that. I, I actually listened to quite a bit of the album. I didn't listen to that whole one. But, uh... I pretty much just yeah, listened to the single, but I mean, it was. Oh God! It was a. It, it's cleaner, right? Like it doesn't. Uh, apparently, I didn't li really listen to the last album they released, but apparently that one was a lot more crude than their uh, than this one. Like this one's got high production value and stuff. And it's less evil sounding to me. I'm gonna get. It reminds me a lot of Behemoth. Yeah. Honestly. Well, it, for me, actually, it reminded me a lot of Dimmu. Not that that's a bad. Not that it's a bad thing. But yeah, it's not. Really? But that's yeah. It's not. Yeah. I don't know. It didn't seem. Get up. We gotta just do some blowing up somewhere. Here, let's try it this one. Then it, oh, and then I got to save the. Whoa! I thought I got that done. Hey, how did you not? Oh, you must have. I still have a light. Oh, who am I? I don't remember unlocking this dude. There's a guy up there that would unlock. Blade has a sweet, sweet, uh, or grenade. The Promenator. Oh, sweet. The main. Oh! I got them all. Oh, use your bomb. Oh, don't use it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so rad. Okay, use your bomb now. Uh, oh. What happened? Why didn't your bomb work? I just shoot you down right now. Oh my god. He's got he's got further bullets than me. Oh! <laughs> nice. Free me! Yeah. Ash. Okay. So, I think the best release out in the last little while is the Black Dahlia Murders new album, Everblack. Yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty big fan of Black Dahlia Murder, but this is really good. Yeah, it sounds good. Like I listened to pretty much that whole album. I missed a little bit of it, you know, I wasn't paying attention to doing something, but... Mm -hmm. It was really yeah. good, yeah, for sure. Um, 
I don't remember the song, the song that I really liked. It. It's like the third song. I can't remember. It sounded really good. I still think I like the last release a little bit better. But I, I, I usually don't like the newest release of song. Lots of times they have to grow on me. Except, except when they are missing a guitar. Yeah. Then I'm not very fond of them. Yeah, they get mad at you. They, they, they don't have a guitarist, their main guitarist, and then they come during exam week on a Wednesday night in a typically dance bar, and then they yell at you when you're not that enthusiastic. Eh, you know, it would be great if you could play Miasma, you know, the album you're, you're touring for? What is this one? I don't know. You have They're helpers. Bros. They're bros. Whoa, how did that happen? That's sick. Get bros. Yeah, he's yelling at everybody in the crowd. <laughs> like, shut up! We're tired and you're not playing the good shit. I would have rathered my money back, I think, personally. Because seeing them with a full band is so much better. Do you have a favorite song on the new new album? <coughs> As for me too? Uh, not in particular. <laughs> I just like to I'm kind of a, I like to listen to whole albums. So there's... Oh, he's got a giant turkey. Yeah, it's, it's a death of mine. Take the back way in. I like how he's, his grenades don't blow him up. His dynamite doesn't blow himself up. Okay, otherwise, he'll be just a little too bad. Oh, fuck. Do I need to go over this? But I'm going to! Oh. Oh, I like the Arnold voice. Rocket ship. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> squished <laughs> myself. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what my favorite album is coming out so uh -oh. far. <laughs> How do the buddies you hit triangle when, nice. they, when there's a gun above their head? They'll come shoot for you. I see. So, so I'll use this as a perfect opportunity to transition into my breakdown of the week, where I'll <laughs> categorize just a band that I think everybody should be listening to, but they've also got a new album out, and that's Mushroom Head. And that new album came out about a month ago, and what the fuck's going on here? Oh. I think it's called The Righteous and the Butterfly, and I love it. That album's amazing. I think it's their absolute best best album I've ever heard, and I've got everything I think about Mushroom Head. I just yeah. love everything about Mushroom Head. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is a hundred percent fact or whatever, but I yeah. I should have looked that up. But my understanding is is that Mushroom Head was a the original Slipknot. <laughs> And I'm not sure if it was for Roadrunner, but I'm pretty sure it was for Roadrunner, and they had some disagreements about... Dog's got me. What's that? Sorry, dog's got me. No. And they had some disagreements about uh, how to proceed, and they left, their, left Roadrunner, and then Roadrunner went out because they liked the formula, and then they made Slipknot, and... Like, this, this is as far as I understood it. I should have looked that up. Like that seems highly, I don't know, highly dubious. Highly dubious. But I know they're a lot like Slipknot, but uh, <laughs> way more drug influence. They're just I don't. I love them. Everything about them. Like my favorite song is like the final act, and it's like nowhere near their best song. And it's just like they got such good rhythm, such good um, like pop lyrics, drug lyrics. We've got so many good live performances that just sound so wicked. All of their, um, all of their, uh, what are those, 
sound clips and stuff they use are also great. They picked some of the best ones to, to incorporate into their songs. Uh, you know, like LSD oh, user and... Uh, Is that what it's actually called? Uh, I have the actual name of that song. I don't uh, remember if that's what it's called. Let's see. I don't think that's what it's called, but I like Solitaire Unraveling. I even like the song Mummy and Canker Sore, Chancer Core. Chancer Core. <laughs> uh, Cut Me, Ego Trip, Blomp. Oh. Everything about them is just fucking sick if you like to just relax and get down. Chill out. Man, I don't know. I can't, can't see where that song is. Hey, you could probably find it under LSD user. Episode 29, sick song. Hmm. I don't know, what else could I say about... Yeah, what could you say about Mushroom Head? They kind of have, like, the... Like, the two-singer dynamic. Yeah, and they also fun. have they also had like the rap metal thing going. Yeah, I really so love the rap metal. That's super a... popular. So I love rap metal. Uh, they're unique in that way. Yeah. And then the, like the sweet sound clips for sure were a big thing. <laughs> Oh! Robocop takes a bullet to the face. It's only weak spot. Right in the mouth. Just run to the post and try and get on the helicopter when it comes. Actually, you just go in there and blast it. Alright, make that jump. Let's get out of here. Okay, yes. so. America! America! <laughs> What do you got? What do you got for a breakdown of the week? Who's the band you'd like to highlight and let everybody know what they should be listening to? Well, my band is... Uh, they're called Exit Strategy, and they're a Cal Calgary band, and they are yeah. very good. They've been in many... Uh, they're main stages of the Calgary scene before. I think dozen years. seven or eight years now at least and then uh, the members of the band have all been in many 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 other Calgary bands throughout the years and uh, we actually had the opportunity, the Train Breaker Monkeys had the opportunity to participate in the Whack and Metal Battle Whacking Metal Battle as we like to call it <laughs> and <laughs> we unfortunately were pitted up against Exit strategy mm -hmm. in our battle, and they're uh, awesome. They're they got an album out on Bandcamp. Uh, they mm -hmm. label themselves Political Death Grind. That sounds pretty good. Pretty accurate. What's going on here? Oh, that's you. That's yeah. That's you. Uh, they got their whole album, latest album, up on Bandcamp. Listen to it now. It's called The Atrocity Machine. Uh, they have countless live sets up on YouTube to watch. Uh, they're really, really good. And they just were in Toronto to play the Canada final of the Black Metal Battle. And uh, apparently, from what I heard, they lost by a couple points. Oh, this guy's still alive? What the fuck? Yeah, I've been trying to blast the hell out of him. Yeah. But, uh, they definitely, des I feel they deserve to be representing Canada. Yeah? Personally, I'm not a big fan of the band who won. <laughs> They're kind of like an old school thrashy type stuff. Which is not exactly my thing. But, uh, yeah. Th uh, it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, we get to play with them 
in some upcoming festivals, and uh, Vernstock. I'm super excited about that. When's Vernstock? Uh, what the fuck's going on here? Do we have to kill him, I guess? Yeah. Maybe we have to go up. Nope, we nope, have to kill him. Yeah. Ah! Oh, I'm still alive. July? July 20th? Yeah, we'll talk about that. Please. July, go on. I'll be with that. Jay, when's Burn Star? Look it up. Where did he go? Oh! Yeah, it seems like this isn't what we're supposed to be doing. Burn Star's July 11th. July 11th. Okay. Just at Burns? Or is it. No, it's yeah. in. Uh, it's a, it's an invite only, or not invite only, but it's, yeah, it's a private, private party that you have to, like, sign up and, and Facebook to, to get tickets to, but it's been going on for a couple of years now, and it's a pretty sweet metal party, nice. and, uh, and Exit Strategy is definitely going to be the highlight of my show. Or of my weekend, so uh, yeah, very definitely an inspiration to all other Calgary metal bands. Like they're yeah, I've seen them. They're pretty they're damn good. good. They're very good, and they're very tight. They don't fuck up. <laughs> and <laughs> they got no owls. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably my. Your thing, your your breakdown yeah. of the week. That's okay, my thing. so we'll just begin to wrap us up here. Uh, talk about some local shows coming up, and and some maybe not quite local, but definitely Alberta stuff. Um, That's if, local. Yeah, if you're if you if you hurry, you can make on Earth. They're playing. <laughs> <laughs> right now at the Republic. They're probably playing right now. Yeah, they're like on the stage right now. They came here with Texas in July and Cruel Hand. <laughs> Apparently Cruel Hand's just blowing up. It's, uh, really? I've never heard of them. Yeah, a guy I work with is big. Uh, they're kind of hardcore-y. Big hardcore kind of guy. And uh, He was talking about them only like three months. So maybe he's... Uh, it could have been a year ago now, but said he, they were here and they played uh, some old age home. <laughs> they rented out the they rented out the place. And, uh, oh, I, rem I remember somebody telling me about that. There was like 50 people or whatever, and they got banned from ever coming back. And then, uh, then uh, maybe three months ago, they were playing. They said like in front of like 200 people. And everybody knew the words to their songs and stuff. Oh wow! So said so it's huge, and now they're they're at the Republic, right? With uh, on Earth. I don't know if that's a sign that on Earth is dropping in popularity. Because <laughs> last time I saw on Earth, they were definitely not definitely not playing somewhere like the Republic. Fuck. I think maybe we, we got to get them to go through the hole, fall through the ground, or something. What else is oh the the Farmageddon? Have you heard of Farmageddon? How come you're not playing mm -hmm. Farmageddon? No, oh, not good. <laughs> wow, I saw some of the bands on there didn't look very good. Uh, I don't know. I don't just don't think we're. Are we? How do you supposed to survive? Man? I don't know. We did something. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's a Farmageddon warm-up show on June 12th at Filthy McNasty's. That's really what I wanted to talk about Farmageddon. Well, why doesn't Calgary have any cool places like Filthy McNasty's? Um, and it's three bands I've never heard of, but two are from Calgary. Power Slave, oh no, Hazard and Riot City are from Calgary. And then there's an Edmonton band, Power Slave. There we go. That's what we, we did it! Play. High five. Ooh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then at Farmageddon, Farmageddon had like quite a few super fans. 
Um, it's like 80 kilometers east of Edmonton. I think a three-day pass is $100 uh, from June 12th to 15th, so it's this upcoming weekend. Keoctus is playing. Gales of Avalon is playing. Death Toll Rising. Bloated Pig's going to be there. Yeah. There's, I don't know, maybe 30 bands or something. Some pretty pretty good-looking bands. Have you heard much of the Death Toll Rising's new album? No, I or haven't. Latest album, I guess. They, they're really sick. Yeah, they're a good band. I like them a lot. They were like them and Exit Strategy. It could have gone either way. Oh in yeah. The album final. Yeah. That's cool. Um, and then here's here's some funny ones. Uh, humorous. June 13th and June 14th. Cobra and the Lotus are playing in Canmore. <laughs> Uh, we we played with them our first show ever. Yeah, I know. I remember that. When back when they were, remember how awesome they were gonna be when they were originally gonna name their band Metal Bomb. Metal Bomb. We were like Metal Bomb. That's a sick name. And then we show up in their Cobra, and they were like, eh, that's kind of lame. You should have stuck with Metal Bomb. And then they go Cobra and the Lotus. Eh. <laughs> Get a fucking name. Jeez. Yeah, I think that's kind of a name, but oh my god. I don't like those games. She's hot though. Yes. But Didn't she change her name to Cobra? Did I think she? They can name Cobra now. Isn't that right, Jay? I think that's actually true. <laughs> oh! I think it's pretty much always good just to use your bombs when you can. Use your name, weapon. Anyway, they are they are actually playing with some pretty good bands, which is bands which is unfortunate for those bands, or I guess fortunate. I don't know. They're they're popular, so <laughs> when they have fake publicity, whatever you want to call it, but they're playing with uh, Throne of Vengeance on the 13th. Throne of Vengeance was a band. Remember yeah. them? And uh, Hellraiser on the 14th. And uh, I've seen Hellraiser, and I didn't think they were bad either. Um, June 21st at Sidelines. Is that in? That's in Calgary, right? Sidelines. Yep. That's, that's uh, we played uh, I guess the la the show before the battle. We played at Sidelines. It's good. And uh, there, that's big, uh, big names. Big there. What's that? Big Nate is doing more shows there. Oh, Big Nate is. Oh, sweet. Yep. We should try and get him on the show. That'd be sweet to have him on. Yep. Oh, no, shit. Just... Should I? What the fuck just happened there? You got too far away and then had to reset. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't die. So that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, oh well, yeah, that's our good buddies in Hammer Drum with Statue of Demir. June 21st at Sidelines. <laughs> and then, of I'm course. Sure couple, I'm sure there'll be more added to that. Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Hammer Drone used lots of times uh, those skills guys back when they were Remco when we had two bands, right? They, they knew it was up. Back when it was a reference kill. Yeah. Back when no, man, they would murder you if you No, no, no. Back, <laughs> back when they were in reference kill. <laughs> not when they, not when the band was Reverend. Reverend kill still exists. Or so they claim. Yeah, that's arguable. Yeah. And then of course there's there's the uh, the most important announcement we'll end every show with until the end of the month here. That is Train Bigger Monkeys, who I think uh, you're associated with. Uh, I think yeah, you know them. I, think I know a couple of those. Guys. They have a CD release June 30th at Lord Nelson's. Tickets are hundred dollars. Farts. Well, how much are tickets? <laughs> how much are tickets? <laughs> Is uh, that decided yet? I think they're only gonna be ten bucks. Ten bucks. That's pretty usual. How much tickets are a CD release? It says on the page. I don't know. I don't worry about the funny stuff. I gotta hit the things. That's all I gotta worry. About. Tell me about the bands that did the show. <laughs> uh, well, we're playing with uh, Bloater Pig, who we had the pleasure of inviting to our first CD release. Yeah, I like them. They're like a heavier metal of Red Bang. Awesome. Fang. Fucking sick. They're awesome dudes. And they like to drink. And they like, holy shit, do they? That's they nice. are drinkers. If there's any band that we ever played with that drank more than us, that's those guys. Yeah. They drink a lot. 
Good they're, times. They're Those fun. Ones. They are fun fellows. Uh, and then uh, as well, world class white trash. Ah, uh, yeah, I like them. Good bros. Played a couple shows with them. Yeah, they only had nice things to say about us. They had very nice things <laughs> to say about us. Also, I don't know how this works. Yeah, I think. I think I don't know. You do all the. You do as many shots as you can, and then you stop it. And then they go to that place. Oh, no. Or oh. you stop it. I think, but I haven't ever really made it work too well. Oh, what the hell happened there? Yes! Then, uh, oh. The other guys, uh, Supermassive Black Holes. Oh yeah, I love Supermassive Black Holes. It's very, very... S progressive? Stoner? Yeah, no, not stoner. Super. Very progressive yeah, science you, you could argue it's stoner. Yeah, you could. You it's could argue. So that'll be a good yeah. one. Super stoked for that. Yeah. Just before Canada Day. So you get the day off, you get to get on Ham Bam and have fun. Yeah, the night before. Yeah, great. Pow, pow. So I think that's a perfect opportunity for us to close down the show for today. Uh, again, I'm Yuri Alarm. You're on my stream. You can also follow Dr. Awesome. Uh, why don't you give your details there, Mr. Awesome? Well, my Twitch stream is Dr. O Dr. Awesome TBM. No spaces or anything fancy. Uh, you can find me on Twitch at doc Dr. Underscore Awesome. It's uh, fake. All I want you to know about me. Twitter. <laughs> I just did you say Twitter. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I got two guys. <laughs> and two guys in the yeah, and my Twitter's the same. Uh, if I have an account, it's always the same in any sort of game. So if you want to find me, StarCraft and Dota, Diablo, anything like that, um, my account's always the same. You're in alarm. Don't try to stray. And I've, it's only I've encountered once where somebody actually had my name, which is startling. Where did they get it from? I don't know. I missed the thing. I thought I was a walker. <laughs> Yeah, and if you you want to be invited to the Metal Mondays uh, Metal Mondays chat channel, if you got a band to promote, a stream to promote, anything metal related, we be happy to give you access, and we start spreading the word about good metal in uh, gaming, which is something shoot that's severely lacking. Shoot us a Twitch message, or shoot us a Twi Twitter. Twitter. Mention us. Yeah, anything of the sort. Show sure up on our not. streams and and. Yell at us until we give you access, or, and we'll be happy to promote any sort of band or metal-related uh, news events on the stream. You got a show coming up? Just let us know, and we'll be happy to promote it. Um, give it a, we'll give it a listen. Yeah, definitely. If it's terrible, good luck. No, <laughs> even terrible music to promote as long as it's local. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We'll, take, we'll promote all the music. Everyone that's a should be included because that's what makes metal great. Definitely. The more the merrier. <laughs> Far. We're not big on not big on hating on any any type of metal. Individual songs and stuff can be hated for stupid reasons, but you know, a band that's making metal is a band that deserves to be promoted. So anyway, yeah, that's that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Next week we'll play a different game and talk about some different metal.